good morning everybody um yes i'm dressed like i'm going to the south pole or something uh the weather gods has uh has been thundering down on us for a couple of days we've got some intermittent rain which is not peculiarly out of season end of march beginning of april um and in between we've got a bit of sunshine now striking down over mountains uh allowing us a gap to actually harvest uh the very last batch for 2022 which also happens to be the naked wine cabernet sauvignon coming from stalamos dominique asked uh, how harvest has been in south africa this year it's, it's been a challenge to be honest we've had very odd weather one of the coldest decembers and novembers that i can remember that obviously led to a very long protracted vintage um, that's evident. I mean, we're, we're still busy harvesting middle of almost in the middle of April, which is almost unheard of for most of us. The quality is, is great. Can't complain about that. It's just a month longer than usual, I think. So just to give you a quick lay of the land, that uh, lovely beastie city in front of you, that's the Simonsburg. If you keep panning around where the, you can see the, the remnants of uh, two days of rain, that little peak at the back there that's just the foot end of the Franschhoek valley if we go around unfortunately you've got trees in front of you well not unfortunately but it is what it is so if you had to imagine behind these trees is Botmas Kop um, and then as the crow flies now that would be Salambosch behind there and Cape Town to that side uh, so you can see lovely slopes that you're dealing with this block I am under correction I think 14 years old and the fruit is really in very good nick at the moment. Just got to find a bunch that I can showcase here. And there we go. So you can see pristine in terms of health, nice tiny berries, tight tannins, juice is still just perfectly balanced in acidity. Um, skin is still quite hardy as you'd expect from Cabernet. So yeah, very excited to bring these guys into the cellar. Alrighty, picking is done. Now we're all cellar bound. So now the processing, and processing is in full force. You can see there's, uh, there's the golden nuggets that's, that's falling in there, little black pools of, of loveliness. Uh, the team is busy sorting now. Uh, the sorting process, just excuse, the, the sound is gonna completely break up when we get outside. The wind is absolutely howling at the moment. So the processing, pro processing is, is happening. As you can see, very slow and very laborious, but both so necessary. Eventually, we'll reach the top and drop them through. My boss man of sorting. It's for quality police. And then it goes back into tank and then we'll take it from there. It's been a hack. We've, uh, we've tracked through it. Only two more left. Is it going me? Two more. Two uh, more. Then all these guys will be in tank. And Time for a cold soak. A bit of a rest for a day or a bit without our attention. And maybe we're going to be on it like white on rice and try to extract that. There they are. 10 tons of Stalamosh Cabernet Sauvignon in tank. Now I've got to go through its little process. So yes guys, thanks for joining us today, it was great. Sorry we couldn't be more interactive. Um, unfortunately we do have a lot of things going on physically. But we'll keep you in the loop as to what's going to happen with this wine and how it evolves. Timeline wise, this is probably going to hit your shores towards the second quarter of 2023. So unfortunately you've got to have a little bit of patience. But in between, we are sending you some other goodies as well, somewhere along the line. Uh, 2021 Cabernet Sauvignon is uh, is kind of setting itself up nicely to, to
to leave the shores probably early-ish uh, in 2023 as well 